Okay, so here we go again. More rushing. <clears throat> I'm not panicked this time, so it all should be good. Uh, did my hair. And as you can see, it's in the little rubber bands like I usually do. But I had in the last one. And then I braided the ends to separate the red and the black. But anyways, going to Kalyanda's house today to dread her hair. This is going to be a seven hour long session. And yeah, I still have my lip done. I just, I cleaned all my piercings. So I've taken everything out. And she's taking me. She's texting me. Okay. Um. But just to show you how many I actually have. Those are all my earrings. Which are in alcohol. And those are all my mouth piercings. That are in denture cleaner. That I need to clean out. Just put lotion on my face. Um. So she makes these dreads herself. They're black. And I think she's got some purple. I've worn them in my hair a couple times. I've seen them. There's no point in me going over what makeup I use because you've already seen all that. And plus it's going to be as quick as possible. Because I'd rather just get over there and get started and get it done with. Because I don't mind working with hair, but it takes forever to put in dreads and plus she wants to record all this <sighs> see the look on my face yeah I hope she knows how to fast forward because it's going to be a while um she makes all of her dreads out of synthetic hair so they are really nice I'm just really allergic to the synthetic hair it breaks out my face really bad and my ears Plus, it gets tangled in my earrings. Um, I know the last time I put my braids in, the I put the purple ones in that she had made for me, and I really I loved them. She did a good job baking them, but I had to end up taking them out. I think they lasted almost a week. Just the the dreads themselves. Um, it was her first go at doing them, so they weren't sticking together very well. And if anybody has worked with synthetic hair, you know those things don't stick together very well unless you spray them with something or wax or anything like that. So, yeah. I'm doing this really fast. Sorry, guys. Um, pretty quick at my makeup when I have to go do something. Well, that's what I think. My husband thinks differently. <laughs> Which he may make an appearance behind me because the door's right there. He may show up and take me out of the bathroom for a minute because it's, I think it's like 7.30 in the morning. It's early. So, I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. This just my regular white powder. Rub that in. And I had some questions from some of my friends that thought I did my eyebrows. I do not do my eyebrows. I never really like drawing on my eyebrows because I can get them to look decent. But to me, I know they're not my eyebrows and they look fake. Well, to me, to everybody else, they look like my eyebrows. So these are actually my real eyebrows. And it's my natural hair color, which is a very light color blonde, depending on what time of year. Um, and then they'll go red if I stay outside too long, but I don't really go outside because I don't like being outside. So, I'm just going over the same routine that I did last time. I don't think I'm going to wear any lashes. Oh, out of frame. Hi. I don't think I'm going to wear any lashes or anything like that. Just eyeliner, mascara, foundation. I really don't have time to put on everything else. Because 
I don't feel like being out of, out of the house for a long period of time. I love my, my friend to death, but I don't want to be midnight working on hair, which I've done before on my own head when I first started doing my braids and it's never fun to work for that long amount of time straight. When I first did my braids I had hair all the way around before my side cut and I was helping I was actually helping the girl that was doing it that I was paying to have it done because I had so much hair she didn't know how to deal with it. So she'd get halfway down and I'd start braiding, tie it off, burn the end, which was synthetic hair. That's how I learned my lesson about synthetic hair. I'm gonna go out of frame again because I gotta put my eyeliner on. Um, but yeah, it was, that was, I gotta say we started one day on a Friday and I had it took like eight bags of hair to do my whole head and it took two days to do it so I'm estimating even with me helping about 12 hours of work which sitting for 12 hours and six hours one day six hours the next it's not a fun thing to do so makes your butt hurt and I, I was sitting on a damn cushion and it still hurt but yeah so i'm gonna upload this as soon as i'm done and then Depending on you know when I actually get to start, because she had to take her kids to school this morning, and I guess they missed the bus. Um, depending on that, will depend on. when she starts upload filming me actually doing her hair. <clears throat> I hate the feeling of being rushed even though I know she's not rushing me. I'm actually kind of rushing myself, so if this doesn't look like it did the last time, I do apologize, but it's going to be close enough for me and she really doesn't care. She tells me I can leave the house without my makeup. She does not care. She doesn't understand why I always have makeup on. And it's to cover a lot of scars in my face. That's why I don't do very many close-up videos just of my face. And that last one that I did was really way too close. I did not like it at all. And I'm thinking about taking it down. So if you haven't seen it, you may want to watch it before I decide to take it down. Excuse my language. <clears throat> Can't close your eyes too quick with this. It has to dry. I know this. I don't know why I like to close my eyeball. I 
hell am I never ever sweat while doing makeup unless I'm filming? I don't get that. Ever. But I got sweat running down my freaking back right now. It's like I've got 30 million people watching me. And that looks ugly. So I'm going to have to go in with my eyeshadow and fix it because I don't like it. Like at all. It's not even. Oh well. Hey. Oh, that didn't go through. Find it later. Fudge a I was going to be Harley Quinn for Halloween, but I've been having a lot of problems finding one in my size. Um, fairly large chested, so for me to find one that fits me correctly, It's kind of hard because the skirt's always either way too short or way too long or the top's too small and I am crushed. I feel like I have freaking smashed my whole chest. And I didn't tell y'all what color this was and it doesn't say, but it's like a taupey color that I used to blend out edges. It's the same one I always use, and it usually gives me what I want, but it's not working today. So, we just gonna roll with it and deal. It's getting close to Halloween anyways. And, let's see what else. Get my mascara going. Drive myself in the eyeball. Pretty sure my neighbors think I'm crazy since I live in an apartment complex and the walls are thin. I'm in my bathroom and I know she can hear me in her bathroom, especially since I work down here. Noises carry really easily here. Interesting, huh? Let's see. What color do I have on my hoodie? Do some purples.
do. Enough. I really don't care. Good as it's going to get. I'll see y'all in a few. 